A bakery sells hollow chocolate spheres. The large diameter of each sphere is four centimeters. So let me actually just draw this out. So we have a hollow sphere happening on the ends. Uh, chocolate uh, sphere. So it looks something like this, okay? And where we have uh, the outside diameter is four centimeters. Okay, so the outside diameter is four centimeters. So this guy here is four centimeters. Okay. Uh, the thickness of the chocolate uh, of each sphere is 0.5 centimeters. Okay, so this is 0.5. Okay. Determine and state to the nearest tenth of a cubic centimeter the amount of chocolate in each hollow sphere. The bakery packages eight of them into a box. If the density of the chocolate is 1.308 grams per centimeters cubed, determine and state to the nearest gram the total mass of the chocolate in the box. Okay, so let's first find out what exactly is the volume of chocolate involved. And after we can find out what the volume of the chocolate um, is, then we can figure out what is the mass of the chocolate sphere of one chocolate sphere and then we can figure out what is the total mass of the chocolate in one box of chocolate that's the game plan let's take a look so uh to find out what the volume of one chocolate sphere is we're gonna have to do a little bit of subtraction here so we're gonna find out what is the volume i want to use v sub l to represent the large sphere and to find out the volume of any sphere, it is always going to be 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. So the radius of the large sphere is 4. So 4 to the third. And then we're going to have to subtract that with the volume of the small sphere. So that will be 4 thirds pi times, well, we're going to have to subtract 0.5 from 4 and then cube it, okay? So, and what we're going to do is we're going to subtract these two. So VL minus VS. If you look at these, okay, between VL and VS, do you see a common factor here? I notice there's a common factor of 4 thirds pi. So I want to factor that out. And if I do, what I'm left with is on the inside 4 cubed minus uh, 3.5 cubed. And this is what I'm going to be entering into the calculator. 4 cubed minus 3.5 cubed multiplied by 4 thirds pi. So let's take a look at the calculator. Whoops. Okay. So 4 cubed minus 3.5 cubed times 4 thirds pi. And this is going to be the volume of one chocolate sphere. So it's 88.488. Uh, wrong. This guy right here. Okay. So this is going to be 88.488. Uh, centimeters cubed. Okay, so this is the volume of one chocolate sphere. This is the volume of one chocolate sphere. And what we're going to do next is we're going to figure out what is the mass of one of these chocolate spheres uh, because we're given the density, and that's 1.308 grams per centimeters cubed. So are we going to be multiplying 
the density uh, with this volume or are we going to be dividing? Well, we're going to use a little bit of dimensional analysis here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I made a mistake here. I just realized it says to round to the nearest tenth of a cubic centimeter. So I'm going to have to do that. So it's not 88.4888. It's 88.5. I have to follow instructions just like everyone else. Okay. So 88.5 cubic centimeters. And what I'm going to do is I need to convert that um, into a mass. I need to get rid of centimeters cubed and I want my final answer to be in terms of grams. So should the 1.308 uh, grams be in the numerator or denominator? It should most definitely be in the numerator. And the one centimeters cubed should definitely be in the denominator because when I multiply this across, I want the centimeters cubed to cancel. So I'm going to multiply 88.5 with 1.308. So I'm going to go over here. And that's 115.758 grams. Uh, and the question, the, the second part of this, it says, determine and state to the nearest gram the total mass of the chocolate in the box. Since there are eight of these little spheres in, in a box, we're going to multiply this by eight. So this times eight is 926.064. So to the nearest gram, it will be 926 grams then. So we're going to take 8 times 115.758. And this is approximately equal to, one more time, what was that number again? 926 of chocolate in the box. Let me do a better job at boxing this. Okay. And that's about it.